Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your October 2018 channeled messages. So um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, not all these messages will apply to you all. So whatever don't fit, just leave it and take what does. And make sure you check out your other signs as well as many messages will resonate from um, different readings. So um, while meditating on your guys' um, sign and situations, I kept seeing the number two. Um, two means a lot of things for me, from my angels. Um, mostly, um, this month is stay optimistic. Um, stay true to your vision, your goal, your dreams, because your angels are working in um, a way to get all those to come into fruition. So stay optimistic, stay positive. Also, um, it's duality, it's balancing out, you're finding balance after healing from a situation that kind of knocked you on your ass. And um, for some of you, it means that your other half is coming back to you that you feel you're in separation from, um, or your true love is coming in if you have not met this person yet. So a lot of messages centered around the number two, but most importantly, that applies to all situations is stay optimistic and stay true to your, your vision, your dream, and your goals because they are coming for you. Um, other than that, uh, some of you have uh, somebody from your past returning. Um, they're coming back after they cut out different parts, different people in their life, and they're wanting you. They're coming back for you. Um, some of you are feeling uneasy about this. Some of you are wary about this. Um, you're not quite sure if you can trust them. Um, you're just really, you're really feeling mixed about it. Uh, this could be some of you, it was because you are a third party. You're in a love triangle. Um, some of you, they just, they devastated you when they left. They broke your heart and you're scared and fearful to put your trust in them once again. Um, you know that this relationship could be great, but you know that they have issues as well. Um, you're unsure whether or not to take them back. You're unsure whether or not to put your faith, your trust, your, you know, yourself, your heart into this. Um, it's split down the middle for some of you. They are not ready for a relationship yet. They need to heal for another group of you. Uh, they're ready. They're ready to go. And this is going to be an amazing relationship. Uh, some of you are scared of taking a risk, um, to rekindle this relationship. That's okay. Follow your heart, trust your instincts, your intuition. They will tell you what's best for you. Um, for some of you, it looks like you're moving homes, you're moving your family, um, whether this is a personal choice or like your job is moving. Um, for some reason, you're up and moving your family or just yourself as well um, to a new home. This home is going to bring a lot of joy, a lot of happy memories and many years in this home. Um, you are making the right move if you're questioning yourself, worried about your children, you know, adapting to the new school, the new neighborhood, the new friends. Um, whether or not you'll find work or not, it's all going to work out. Uh, I see many, many years in this next home that you guys are moving to. Um, it's going to be a very happy place and somewhere to call home. Some of you, um, are coming out of that healing phase of somebody who did you dirty in the past, somebody who broke your heart, somebody who walked out on you, somebody who left you, you are coming to terms with what has happened you are healing and you are moving forward in a much, much healthier, better version of yourself. Um, for some of you, this breakup uh, pushed you into this spiritual um, path of finding out who you are. What is the reason behind all this? Why is this heartache necessary? You know, why is life the way it is? You're asking all those um, personal questions, all those questions about life. You are finally seeing the answer. Um, when this person left, you felt like you felt like it just destroyed you. It broke you down to nothing, to down to your breaking point. 
Um, but you're now seeing why it had to happen. You're now seeing the benefit of this heartbreak um, because look how far you've come in the last year, the last two years, three years, stemming back from MC in 2009, 2014, um, when things just started to fall apart in your life, one thing after another, after another, take a look back and see how far you've grown. See the person you were back then to the person you are now and be proud of yourself. You guys have hit a huge milestone. You're closing out an, a major important chapter um, that you are more than happy to close the book on. Um, but you can look in the mirror and see the beautiful person that you have um, evolved into, that you have built yourself back up from uh, after that person left you in pieces. So um, you're starting to see why you should be thanking them instead of hating them um, type of feeling like you should be proud of yourself. Uh, you guys are you guys are trying to stay balanced. You're looking for stability in a relationship. You're looking for a partner that's going to provide you um, as much stability as you can them. You want something that's balanced, something that's equal, um, something that you don't have to be scared or afraid or wonder or worry about where they're at, who they're talking to, or if they're going to stay this time. Um, some of you are dealing um, with a lot of mental stress of all around relationships about when, when will I meet? you know, the, the right one, where will I meet them? Will so-and-so come back? Um, will I reunite with so-and-so, uh, you know, those type of things remain hopeful because, uh, for this group of you, you can feel it inside you. You can feel it in your gut. You can feel it in your heart. Somebody is coming back to you. Somebody, that person that you're waiting on or hoping to meet, um, they're coming in and you can feel it. Uh, that's because you're getting downloads. Um, your intuition is increasing. Um, so remain hopeful. You guys are manifesting like crazy right now. Make sure you set your intention. Make sure you set your goals and dream big because now is the time it's, you're going to get it. Jupiter returns home to your guys' sign in November. Super exciting. Um, luck is just going to be flowing. And mark my words, this time next year, if you think you're lucky towards the end of this month, this year, wait until next year. Your guys' life is going to be abundant. The blessings are flowing like crazy a year from now um, after Jupiter's been home for a while. So um, remain hopeful. Keep the faith because huge things are coming in for Sagis once Jupiter returns home. And you're starting to see signs of it right now. Um, they're slowly coming in for you as you guys are slowly receiving these downloads. Um, and October is a huge turnaround month for Sagittarius. The last two, three, five, seven years have been hell. And that's putting it mildly. You guys have been broken, beaten, bruised, broke down. And you have built yourself back up. You have passed the test. You have made it this far. So now your rewards are coming in. Reap the benefits because you deserve it. Um, for some of you, you are currently going through a transformation, a strong transformation, um, and you're having a hard time dealing with this. You're you're you don't understand it. Um, you're you're feeling like you're just ungrounded. You're kind of blah. Um, make sure you are meditating every day. A couple minutes a day is all it takes. Um, imagine your roots going down to the center of the earth. Uh, you know, source providing you with white light, Mother Gaia providing you with um, the gold light of the universe and just allow yourself to be grounded. Um, set those roots, set your intentions and um, set your aim high because it's going to start uh, speeding up here. It's going to start picking up um, your transformation. You're about through that cycle. Uh so make sure you're staying grounded and, uh, and make sure your intentions are clear for some of you, you have unfinished business from somebody of your past. They're coming back. You got to deal with this. Um, some of you, it could be a divorce. Like you've been separated from somebody for years, but you haven't actually made it legal. Um, as one situation I'm seeing, uh, somebody that, you just broke things off with, or they broke off with you without telling you they just took off or you just took off. Those people are coming back. It's time to, um, it's time to 
deal with the past so the door can be shut and you can move on unobstructed in the future. Um, some of you are communicating back and forth with somebody new. This is flirty, light, fun. Could have been someone you met online or through like a social media platform like Facebook, Instagram. Um, this, this is going to be a lot of fun for you. Uh, take it slow, but don't hesitate because this person has great intentions for the two of you. And I do seeing it lasting a long time. For some of you, you need protection and to be grounded. Uh, some of you could be experiencing like psychic attacks or um, things of that nature. Uh, do a protection prayer every morning, every night before you go to bed, when you wake up and stay grounded. And that's going to help. Um, for some of you, you're scared to speak your, your truth to somebody. You're scared to follow your heart. Um, release the fear. It's going to be okay. Um, those who don't accept the truth and walk away and walk out of your life um, don't deserve to be there in the first place. It's not meant for you. So never stray away from speaking your truth. Always stay faithful and stay truthful to your path and um, your goals in life. And those who aren't meant to be in it will fall away. So the ones that are truly deserving and mean to be there, they'll stick with you. So don't be scared to speak your truth. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with addictions or codependencies on people or alcohol chemicals. It's different for everybody. It's time to detox, whether that be an emotional detox to get rid of codependency of people or um, a full body detox, which is to rid yourselves of uh, alcohol chemicals of that nature. It's time to detox your body. October is a huge month. Your body needs to be in tip top shape. Um, in order for things to progress the way they're meant to progress. Um, yeah. Detox your system. Uh, yeah. Flush your system of those toxins, those chemicals. Uh, and you'll be able to accept these downloads a lot easier. For some of you, you're meeting new people. You're going to know instantly whether or not you like this person or can trust this person uh, strictly on their vibe. They're going to give you a bad or good vibe. If they give you a vibe that you aren't quite sure of, um, turn and walk away. Your angels are telling you they're no good for you. Um, I'm not saying they're bad people. I'm not saying that they're not good people. I'm saying that it's not going to jive well with each other if you have a bad vibe from the get-go. Um, for some of you, you're just tired of trying. You're tired of giving it your all. You're no longer fighting. You're no longer arguing. Some of you are just walking away and not saying anything. Some of you are telling this person, hey, look, we need to talk. I'm just, this just isn't for me. And you are gone. You're done fighting. You're done putting up all this energy. You're, you know, putting it on the line and, and they're not fighting for it. And you're just tired. Um, and then it'll be time to heal. It'll be time to take a rest, to step back. Because for this group of you, I see the end of November and December being huge months in love for you. So if it's not any working for you any longer, um, I do see a lot of you just up and walking away. Um, For some of you, you're very upset with somebody and you're just getting downright ruthless. Be careful what you say. Um, sometimes it comes back and bites you in the ass. But more importantly, that those words stick with people um, for, for a long time, forever for some people. Um, and you don't want words that you say in anger to, um, to hurt these people for years down the road. Um, so be cautious of what you say uh, when you're mad at somebody. For some of you, you guys are achieving whatever you want this month. Whatever you aim, whatever you point that arrow at and aim for, you're hitting it on the mark. Whether it be a relationship, a job, a house, a, a vacation, whatever it is that you want, uh, you guys are getting it this month. It's amazing. Um, 
for some of you, you're really there for somebody right now. Um, you really are making yourself available to this person. Um, for some of you, many people, because you guys, Sagittarius, are so there for people because they truly know what it's like to have nobody. They truly know what it's like to hurt and and have suffering and pain and heartbreak and not have anybody to turn to. So you guys are really extending your heart, your energy, your time to somebody going through a hard time. And the universe sees that. And you will be blessed for your good deeds, for your um, compassion, your heart. I see some of you um, are even like counselors, um, guidance counselors, therapists, uh, nurses. Like you're honestly there for the better of people. Um, you give your heart and soul daily um, and not expect anything in return. For those group of you, you are um, going to see a windfall of blessings in October. Um, the universe has seen this and is, is going to um, pay you back. They're paying you forward for all the, the investment and time and compassion and love and caring that you put out into the world through many people. For some of you, um, you're procrastinating on something. And I am not sure if it's at home or at work, but you're going to pull through because, you know, Saggies work best under pressure. So um, I don't know about you guys, but I do my best cleaning of my house 10 minutes before company gets here. I could know two weeks before and nah, like I am the queen of uh, last minute under pressure work. So you guys, uh, this is going to turn out okay for you, but you're starting to sweat it under the collar a little bit. Um, I, I'm thinking it's a deadline at work, but uh, yeah, it's okay. It's for both. I can see both situations now at home or work. Uh, you're getting a little nervous. It's going to be okay. You're going to pull through like you always do. Um, for some of you, a past person, um, a past person is coming back. This is a twin flame or a soulmate that you've been in separation from for at least six months. You went without talking. You kind of might be talking back and forth right now, but it's nothing serious. They could have been gone from a year. They took off like a year and a half ago all the way to 11 years. Um, these people are coming back from your past. Uh, they're letting you know that their situation has changed. They have left their karmic. Um, they want to know if you can start over, start fresh, start new. Uh, this is going to be a, a huge union and reunion month for Sagittarius's. For some of you, they still need healing. They're still recovering from a karmic relationship. Uh, they need your help in being there for them. Be their best friend. Be their um, compassionate partner. Um, but also be understanding because they haven't dealt with a lot of the issues that you guys have already healed from and moved on past. But that's why you went through it first. So the universe puts you back together so you can help this person now uh, come through that fire that you guys have already walked through and healed from. So um, try to be patient and compassionate because... Sometimes you're going to want to wring their neck. Sometimes you're going to want to just scream. But um, know that this is all new to them. They need your help, your guidance, your assistance and healing. And just be the amazing Sagittarius that you are. And um, you're going to make it through this. This is it. For a lot of you, this is a relationship you've been waiting for. Um, and it's going to ascend from here only into higher levels. Uh, November, December. So exciting. I'll get to that later next month, but, um, yeah, just make sure that, uh, that you're understanding. Don't give up on this person. You guys are so close. Don't walk away. Uh, they may be pushing, pulling, you know, back and forth energy, not a hundred percent consistent, uh, but they will be. Uh, for some of you, if you are single and have been single for a while and are waiting are looking for love. I do see new love coming in for people. You guys have not met these people yet. Um, like I said, social media platforms are going to be big, but I see you guys in meeting in like a public place, like a coffee house or 
or something like that, um, you're going to have that instant magnetic attraction. You're going to look in that person's eyes and be like, melt like butter. Um, this person is going to, um, they're going to bring out the best in you and you and them. These, for some of you, these are life partners. For others, they're um, long-term relationships, but many, many years of uh, being together. And you guys are going to change each other's lives in such a positive way. You're going to just walk into a room and you're going to radiate happiness, radiate excitement. Um, you're going to walk down the street and people are just going to know like they are so into each other. Um, it's an amazing feeling for you guys. And I'm so happy for you. Um, those are for those of you who are single, nobody not attached to anybody, not waiting for anybody. Um, just super single and ready to mingle. You guys are finding amazing partners this month. Um, for some of you who you are waiting for somebody to return or you're holding out for somebody to return, you are also going to have somebody that comes in to you this month and it's going to make you question should I be waiting for that other person? Cause this person is freaking amazing. And yes, by the end of the month, you guys are going to have a choice between two people. You are no longer the third party waiting for somebody, but you are now the person with the choice. Uh, these are both great choices. These are both amazing relationships. Uh, either way they go, um, just follow your heart and, and go from there. Um, one could be a fire sign. One could be an earth sign. Yeah. For some of you, I mean, like you yourself are a fire sign, but your two choices are going to be fire and earth. Um, for some of you, it's air and fire. So um, both these people are great people. So uh, no matter which way you choose, you can't go wrong. For some of you who are waiting on a soulmate, it's been 10 plus years um, you're getting communication from them. They're going to be reaching out to you via text, uh, email, phone, um, around the 14th of October. Uh, they are going to want to, uh, meet up. They might have to travel to come see you. Um, I'm not seeing like huge distances, but, um, at least a couple hour drive to get to your house or like an hour flight, however that works. Um, you're going to see each other and it's going to be like, no time between you, um, had escaped you. It's going to be an instant, uh, an instant. I don't, it's so beautiful. I can't even find the words to say it. It's going to be amazing. Um, for some of you, for some of you, you're wanting to start a new company or you're, you're leaving one company to go to the next, um, you're going to find a lot of success in this if you stay dedicated to your vision. Um, don't don't take a job just because of money and it compromises your values, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah, don't compromise your values for a dollar. Um, if, if you don't believe in what you're saying, what you're doing, what you're contributing to this company, um, chances are that job is not for you. Uh for some of you, um, the 11th of October is going to be huge um, as far as uh, like um, yeah, for some of you, whoever, if you are in the category of having somebody come back to you, waiting for somebody to come back, whether it is a ex, a, a soulmate, a twin flame, uh, whatever it is, if you are waiting for somebody to return, this person is going to contact you on the 11th. Um, now it could be day before or after, you know, by a couple, but they're going to show up with roses and they're going to sweep you off your feet. They're most importantly though, going to show up with the truth. They're going to answer your questions openly, honestly, truthfully, even if it hurts, they are going to let you know what happened, why they took off, why they left, what they had to do and what they want in the future. And you two will go from there. And for a lot of you, you will um, move forward with this person. For some of you, in the meantime of them being gone, you had moved on to somebody else. And you're shutting the door to them. Uh, 
and going to continue on with the person that you have met uh, in this time of separation. Either way you choose, once again, Sagis, you guys are going to have a beautiful relationship. So um, just follow your heart. Uh, the 18th of October is also very important. This has to do something with children. Um, if you're waiting for children or if you're in a custody case with children, however um, it is with children, you are getting word from somebody, a higher official or um, somebody that I see is higher in like the decision making. Um, your children are returning. So... Um, yeah, I'm seeing, I see so many situations, but just as an example, um, if you were divorced and you had full physical custody and the other parent had weekends, that parent went to court and the court decided now it's 50, 50, but it's something like that. Or if like, you know, DHS was involved, the human services and your children are being returned either, however it pertains to you. Your children are going to be allowed to be in your care again, 50-50 um, with the other parent um, or full custody, whatever it is that you are dealing with. Huge. This is such a beautiful homecoming. Um, <clears throat> you've worked very hard to get to this point where you can get your children back. Um, this will be a very happy time for you guys. You've been really worried. You've been stuck in that mental headspace. You've been fretting about this. You're thinking that, you know, it could go either way. It's going to be okay. They are coming home and uh, you are going to be able to co-parent with that other person very nicely. Um, for some of you, the 22nd of October is huge for um, people coming back as well. Um, now, this most definitely um, is uh, a twin flame situation or soulmate situation. Um, this person is taking that leap. Finally, um, Leo's Leo, another Saggy. If you're uh, waiting on Saggy, Virgos, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, there's a whole bunch for Sagittarius. Um, they are coming back. You guys are making plans. Finally moving forward in the stagnation that you guys have been in with this person. Stagnation is over. Reunions are here. Huge, huge month for you guys. Um, if you are, uh, if you guys are a part of a third party, you guys are putting an end to a third party. You're standing your ground, putting your foot down. No longer will you choose to be a choice, but if I'm not your priority, see ya. Um, and this is going to kick their kick them in the ass to get them moving towards you. Um, like I've said this before in the past, only say it if you mean it, though, because the universe knows if you're faking it. If you say, I'm done, I don't want anything to do with a third party, and they call you the next day, wanting, you know, and you're down for it, that isn't going to work. Um, you have to truly be ready to move on, truly prepared to take the risk. If I say this and they turn around and walk away from me, I will be okay. And they're not going to turn around and walk away from you. They may turn around and be like, I'll be right back. And then they're going to go take care of what they got to take care of. And they will be back. That's, that's what's going on at the end of October. Um, people are returning and it's when you take a stand for yourself and you no longer settle to be second best, when you put your best foot forward and you either want to be all or nothing, that is when you get it all. Um, all this hard work of healing and, and building yourself back up again, it's going to be well, well rewarded in the month of October. Some of you are still in that healing process. Some of you are still taking a step back and choosing you so you can heal yourself, so you can be a better person, um, so you can live in light. And that's okay. Uh, November and December are coming as well. Um, and just relationships as a whole are becoming more, uh, more and more and more as our consciousness is, is greater and greater and huge awakenings are going on right now. So all this hard work and healing and, and, and working on yourself 
is going to bring you many, many benefits, many, many blessings. Um, it had a lot of lessons, but now you're on the fast track to um, following your dreams, making your life what it is that you want. Um, you guys are going to come into a balanced and fair and loving relationship for the majority of you, um, no matter what situation you're in, no matter whether you're single, whether you're separated, whether you're um, in stagnation with somebody or whether you're married and and don't know what to do, relationships as a whole are coming together and flourishing. So as long as you believe in yourself, believe in your partner, believe in your path, great things are coming in for you in October, November, and December. Um, you guys weren't being, you guys weren't um, acknowledging a gift that the universe was giving to you um, up to this point. And that is the gift of becoming whole again, the gift of healing and building yourself back up into this amazing person that you are. All you were concentrating on is all the hurt, all the pain, all the work you have to do to make yourself better, how they hurt you, how they did you wrong, how they did you dirty, how there was somebody else. That's all you could see. But now it's like the four of cups, you know, that you're just concentrating on what you have in front of you, which is a big pile of mess that that person left me in. When the universe is like, hey, over here, you guys are finally seeing that. That cup that the universe was handing you was your gift. Your gift of being healed, whole, perfect, in your own perfect, imperfect way. And now you guys see the gift. Now you guys see the blessing in all this, in the whole journey, in the whole craziness of life. And the universe is here to bring you guys many, many, many blessings in the month of October and throughout the end of the year. So, um, like I said, you guys are manifesting like crazy, quiet your mind and let your soul do all the talking and send your prayers, your dreams, your goals up to the universe and let your angels bring it to you because you guys have worked very hard to come to this point. Relationships are coming in together. Um, single people are finding love. Amazing relationships are on the horizon. So don't give up. You guys are so close. Um, you'll see by the end of October what I'm talking about. So I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing uh, October and I will see you next time. God bless.